Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for today's video because we are gonna be doing a Sephora try on haul. I recently posted my Sephora VIB sale haul which will be linked down below in case you missed that. And today we're gonna to be trying on a bunch of the products that I picked up during the haul to create this full face. Now don't judge me, my shadow today, we definitely have some shadow fallout like on the high points of my cheeks. So I promise I don't have bruises happening there. Um, please ignore that. But I had so much fun testing and trying some of the new products that I picked up during the Sephora sale. And I'm excited to share all of them with you guys today. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this look today, stay tuned. First, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project painting content, palette themed content, or just chit chatting about makeup, I'd love if you'd consider subscribing before moving on. And other than that, let's jump into the video. Alright guys, before we get started, I am even more excited about this video. So you may notice throughout the video, like as I'm doing my makeup, I have these really beautiful rings on and I am really trying to lean into rings more. Like I feel like that is like the area of like jewelry that I am like most excited about. Um, and I'm very excited to say that this portion of today's video is sponsored by Ana Luisa. I have been working with Ana Luisa for years and I always get so excited to get the opportunity to work with them, which thank you to you guys, my audience, for providing me opportunities like this. But I have four new pieces to share with you guys, but I have four new pieces to share with you guys today, three of them being rings, which I'm literally so excited about because I've been like really into the rings. Like we were we work in an office type setting now. I like to have a little little, little bling as I'm like typing, you know, scheduling appointment. Like I like I like for my rings to show. Um so let me show you guys my newest rings to start. So this one right here, um, I'm gonna take it off, but my finger is like a little bit like we're still early in the morning. So you know when your fingers are a little bit swollen? This is what this ring looks like, and this is called the Orin ring. Um, and I really like this. It's unlike any other ring that I have ever worn. And I actually wore this to the office the other day. And one of the girls that I worked with, like the first thing she said, like it come to the back and the first thing she said, she's like, oh my gosh, I love your ring. So I was like, oh, thank you. It's definitely different than anything that I have ever worn. But I like that it's a little bit bigger. Like it, it's a little bit like a little bit statement-y. Um, not quite as dainty as I usually go. So really big fan of this. Then right next to that, I'm not gonna like just flip you guys off, but this is the Petra ring. And this is this cute snake ring, which actually I have, let me grab it quick. I don't know the name of this one at the moment. I can pop it um, on the screen, but I have like this single swirled snake um, previously from Ana Luisa. And now I have a little bit larger, which I think this is, I freaking love this. It kind of makes me feel like Cleopatra in a way. I don't know why. Like, you know, like maybe I need, I definitely don't because my arms, they're not fit enough for that. <laughs> um, but you know, like when people would wear like the arm cuffs, for some reason that's giving like arm cuff energy. Like it's just like, it's a vibe. And I really, really like this one. I also just grabbed this while I was at my little ring holder. This is also from Ana Luisa. This is the Chloe ring. I really like this. I think this is the Chloe ring. Um, it's this really beautiful like rope like texture. Just, you know, just get, if you're looking for rings too, if you're into the rings, really love that one. And then I love this cute little guy, this cute little dainty guy right here. This is, I believe the Miley ring. Yeah. This cute little dainty guy right here. I think this is so freaking cute. So it doesn't like close all the way around. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. So pretty. I feel like this would be really beautiful for like a ring stack as well. And this is the Miley ring, which by the way, please don't judge myself tan hands. Um, so I'm so into my rings right now, but then I also have a new necklace, which necklace would probably be my second most favorite type of jewelry. Although I do love earrings as well. I'm just not a bracelet girly. And I will say I'm really bad about remembering to like wear my necklaces sometimes. This is the Lori necklace. And I love this cause it's like two little loops kind of like together. And it's like kind of short, which I appreciate. I mean, it goes a little bit lower than my tank top here, um, but I could tighten it cause there's like different levels that you can like wear it at. So if you wanted to wear it more choker style, you could too. Um, but I just thought, I love Ana Luisa for their dainty necklaces. I feel like they have some really, really beautiful dainty necklaces. You guys also know I love my mama necklace from Ana Luisa. 
I'm just a huge fan. If you guys have been watching me for any length of time, you already know why I love Ana Luisa, but their quality truly is like the best that I've personally tried for jewelry. Strength and humidity test all of their pieces so that you know your jewelry pieces will be long lasting and they're also tarnish resistant. I will say, I've literally worn, I remember when we went to Okaboji last summer, I had a pair of like the Huggy hoops in and I just let them in and I just left them in the entire time we were in Okaboji's, um, a town, a city in Iowa. Um, it's like a resort town. Anyway, so I swam in the lake with those. I showered. I swam in like a chlorine field filled pool. I was in the hot tub, all the things. And I had like those still haven't tarnished. Um, I have owned this snake ring for a couple of years now. And there's like nothing like nothing. So my fingers don't turn green. My neck doesn't turn green. My ears don't get like crusties in them. So like the quality is just, it is so good. I feel like it's really hard to like find good quality jewelry at affordable prices, especially. And with Ana Luisa, they have prices starting at $39. They have free shipping for exchanges and returns and all of their pieces come with a two year warranty. So you know that they truly believe in the products that they're selling. And one other thing that I just wanted to note, I'm not gonna dox myself, so I'm showing you the other side. I always forget to like say, the packaging but it comes in like really sleek packaging and i just know the brand is super passionate about like no waste and actually this is so cute it says i'm not trash please recycle me so i just really appreciate that about the brand too and let me grab each piece comes in its own little felt pouch okay sorry not felt it used i swear it used to be felt maybe more, is this like canvas canvas anyway each piece comes with its own little pouch which i really appreciate because for travel, you know when your necklaces get all like knotted and bunched up, like it's impossible to avoid sometimes. I love these for travel because it helps like keep my jewelry separated and just like, it's so easy. So I really, I really love this about Ana Luisa as well. So I will leave a link to Ana Luisa's website in the description box down below. If you shop through that link, I don't earn a commission off of that, but it does let them know that you came from like, my youtube channel so would love if you wanted to go check out any pieces i know mother's day is coming up perfect time to get that mama necklace or any other cute pieces for any mothers you know out there that um, you're looking for a good gift for so i'll leave out that information in the description box down below if you have any Ana luisa recommendations or pieces that you love let me know so i know what to buy next you know i might treat myself to my own mother's day gift also my birthday is may 9th so let me know what pieces I should pick up if you have any favorites from Ana Luisa. And if you decide to buy anything, I would love to know what you pick up. So let me know. But thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Now on to the try on haul. In person, I never feel like I notice my like under eyes when I don't have makeup on. But then I turn the camera on and I'm like, is this how like the world is receiving me without any makeup? Because I'm scared. I am scared. Anyway, I'm really excited because today we're going to be doing a Sephora VIB sale, not VIB sale, try on. Well, yes, all the products that I picked up during the VIB sale, we're going to be trying some of them on my face today. I have owned these products for about four days now. Um, and I have been trying them like every single day since I've got them. I am currently in the process of also filming a makeup diaries that'll be coming like Wednesday, Thursday or Friday of this week. So if you're interested in seeing how some of these other products look on my face, keep an eye out for that video. And if you miss my haul, I will also leave that in the, in the description box down below. Today's the last day for the Sephora VIB sale. So if you're interested in shopping for any last minute items, I'll also leave my Sephora link in case you want to shop through that link. It definitely helps support me and my channel, but you can always just go to the Sephora website on your own as well. As we go along, if there's products that I'm not testing out today, but I have already like tested them once or twice, I'll let you know my thoughts. But we're gonna start out with primer. And I, I did pick up two primers. I did pick up from Patrick Starr's brand, the One Size Secure the Glow Tacky Hydrating Primer. This will be my third time using this today. And then I did also pick up the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer, just in a mini. I really enjoy this primer. It is by far the best pore filling primer that I personally have tried. I'm not gonna be putting this on today just because there's no pores that I'm like really trying to conceal. So I'm gonna use this Patrick, or this, well, Patrick Star, yes. Um, but the one size primer. And this does feel, it has a very like gel-like texture. Like a text, what am I saying? A gel-like cooling texture. I'm just gonna go in with like a fourth of a pump extra to kind of 
get a little bit more on my forehead i will say like i do feel like i have to wait like two minutes before i really feel the tackiness come through or i just have to like really really like blend but i do feel a tackiness i don't feel like it's as tacky as like the elf jelly pop primer or the lys um what is the lys one called i can't remember that one literally feels like glue like if you're looking for a tacky primer that's a great one but this does have a tack to it and it does feel hydrating which i appreciate so so far i have been enjoying this one um i am gonna conceal before i put on my foundation that's the way that i've really been enjoying doing my concealer during the sale i did pick up the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin radiant concealer i picked mine up in the shade three because i currently have this little trial size um, this one's in the shade four, but this has quickly become one of my favorite concealers. So I wanted to pick it up in the full size, but I'm going to use this one today because I'm so close to being done with this. And I just kind of want to finish this one up. I know not everybody loves this one, but I personally feel like it really smooths underneath my eyes. Like it provides a lot of coverage while not looking like really dry that is like one thing i feel like i can like suffer from pretty bad when it's bad is like really dry looking under eyes because i feel like i have extremely dry skin as i always tell you guys okay so i'm gonna blend this out first using my rare beauty concealer brush And I really like try and take my concealer down my nose. My nose is like, I swear, chronically runny. Like there's never a time I don't have a runny nose, which is really annoying. But especially lately, I don't feel like I'm, I necessarily suffer from like bad allergies, but I don't know what is in the air this year. I feel like I am suffering and my nose like hurts. So that's not fun at all. Okay, my concealer is all blended out. I don't know why, but I just personally like doing my concealer first. That is just the era that I'm in. But for foundations, I did pick up three foundations. And actually, I was in store with my sister over the weekend. And I did run back in for one last foundation um skin tint it's from super goop it's their new protect tint daily spf tint as this has spf 50 i saw taylor win using this it looked so beautiful on her and she was talking about how her like go to like day to day is to do like a tinted spf or a tinted moisturizer and just like heavy concealer and i'm like maybe i need to try that like i feel like i'm just looking older and older by the day maybe i just need to try a little bit like less on the face so I wanted to give this a try because I feel like I've heard pretty good things about this. Like, I feel like Angie really likes this as well. I could be wrong, but I know she's, like, worn it a couple of times. Um, and it's looked really beautiful on her skin. I picked mine up in the shade 20C, 220C, I think. There was one shade up. Like, I think it was 220W that I wanted to get, but they were out. And actually, 220C will probably be better for me, but I was thinking about the W one for, like, when I'm self-tanned. Anyway, this is... This is, I just picked this up. I haven't tried it yet. I'm not going to be putting this one on today, but I wanted to let you guys know that I did pick that up. <clears throat> the three foundations I did pick up, I finally picked up the House Labs foundation, which I have worn once. I really, really enjoyed this. I also picked up the Very Valentino Light Reflecting Foundation. This, unfortunately, is so beautiful. And I say unfortunately because I'm like, it's expensive. Um, but I, I've only worn this once, so, you know, time will tell if I continue to like this, but this looked so beautiful on the skin and I didn't even have to set it. Um, so I really liked that. And then the one I'm going to be putting on today is the Danessa, My Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint. I picked mine up in the shade three. I did self tan last night. I feel like my arms like did not pick up color than like my hands did and my legs did. So I'll be curious to see what I think of what this shade looks like, but I'm just going to put, well, that's looking like it might be like a little yellow, but we're going to, we're going to make it work. Clearly I have no rhyme or reason to like how I was putting that on my face, but I think I'm going to first go in with a brush and then I will use a beauty sponge to kind of blend everything out. That's just typically how I personally like to 
apply foundation or skin tint. Now, this is described as a skin tint, but I feel like everyone I've heard talk about this or try this talks about it having like more coverage than you would necessarily expect from a skin tint. I feel like I should have gone in with like a little bit more. And now I'm like, okay, is this actually a little bit light? I wanted shade four, but they were out because I thought shade four, okay, I do not like the way that that applied with the brush, but it's also <clears throat> could be because my brush needs to get washed. Um, what, is this gonna be too? light for me huh i just opened a new beauty blender today which is always really exciting okay i thought this was going to be the darkest of the three <laughs> complexion products that i picked up and i actually think it might be the lightest i will say i don't know if i was like going in reading too much into the like this has higher coverage than expected but I'm looking at this and I'm like, I can definitely still like see my skin through this. It's not like, I don't feel like it's like medium coverage. Maybe it's like light and not like sheer, but like I can definitely still see like, I don't know if you can see on camera because of the lighting. I'm like, I can still see like, yeah, you can still see my freckle there. Like, I feel like I want just like a little bit more on my cheeks which like okay and i also i'm like am i getting yep i'm getting a little bit of pilling which i haven't had pilling with any of the other foundations and that primer so that's kind of interesting like because i was gonna say is my skin dry or is it yeah that's definitely pilling okay i definitely don't love that Okay, I don't know if you guys will be, let me zoom you in. Can you guys see, let me see if I can turn my lights down. So I don't know if you can see. Can you see like the pilling happening? Ooh, oh my gosh. Okay, my lighting's so much better with it not so bright. Okay let's try lighting like that okay hmm should i wipe this off and try it with a different primer i'm like actually really kind of surprised by that i think i might i think i might just because i'm like i don't know how i don't feel like i can work with like how much pilling there is here okay i'm gonna try that really quick i'll be back you guys okay i've reconcealed my eyes i'm gonna go in with my danessa myrick's yummy skin I should have done this before I like concealed my eyes. I'm gonna try and just like not put it then, I guess, where my concealer is. But I'm gonna go in with the Danessa Merrick's uh, Yummy Skin Glow Serum Primer. Which I really do enjoy this primer. I think it's a really, really beautiful hydrating primer. My skin is like very irritated at me now too. We'll see if it looks better with this. I had like gone in with a moisturizer. I don't know, maybe it just like was not getting along with the one size secure the glow. Maybe I'll let this sit for a minute. Oh, I forgot to say. Okay, I picked up so many lip products during the sale. Um, the two, no, three lip treatment type of products that I picked up. I picked up the Fenty Skin um, Lip Oil. I've only used this one once. I have it in Melon Treat. I liked it the first time I used it. I wouldn't say it was like earth shattering, but again, I've only used it once. This is definitely going to become a new holy grail product in my collection. I'm thinking this may end up replacing like my Kosa, not Kosas, um, Kopari Lip Glossy. This is the Ulla Henriksen Pout Pres Prout Preserve Peptide Lip Treatment. This feels like a luxurious treat for your lips. Um, I don't want to put this one on right now. I'm going to put the Tower 28 on. We'll get to it in a minute. But this is so freaking good. Definitely going to be a car gloss for me because it's so comfortable on the lips and actually is nourishing. This is something I could also see obviously keeping like a desk one. One for when I'm working. Um, also like this could work really nice, really nice as a night lip treatment. This is so good. Like, this is a tippity top recommendation. I'm gonna put the Tower 28 Lip Softy Tinted Lip Treatment on my lips. So, this is described as a lip treatment 
this is not good first of all i said like the carmex packaging was cute but the application of this it's not a nice experience like i feel like you can't necessarily get a good control over like how the lip product applies i got mine in the shade or in the scent i think it's dolce de leche and it definitely smells like it has like a nice sweet scent to it it's like just a really nude gloss but this first of all i feel like it's one of those lip treatments that claims it's a lip treatment but actually like feels like it makes my lips drier and this has no staying power i tested this the other day i went on a walk and by the time like i had left my apartment and gotten like less than a block away i was like okay my lip treatment has like all but worn off so i just wanted to like put it on so you guys can kind of like see but it feels too thin almost to be like a lip treatment like it just does not i so far i'm not liking this anyway i've let that primer sit for a bit and actually that primer is like kind of tacky so do i like want to just like not use a brush should we try that we can try not using a brush and we can just use a sponge or should i use let me use my fingers actually let's let's try that we're gonna try oh boy Okay, no, I feel like I way over applied because I used my fingers. We'll see how this goes. I definitely feel like this is going to be too light for me when I have a self tan, but maybe I can like, you know, warm it up with a bronzer or deepen it up. We'll see. Okay. I'm going to take my beauty sponge now and fix everything that's happening here okay i do definitely like that i feel like the glow i don't know if it's like this is glowy does it claim to be glowy hydrate smooth and correct i like that it like has a glowy finish i don't know if it's the product itself or that um or the yummy skin like primer coming through because that's kind of glowy but it do i feel like it's coming somewhat from the product Okay, definitely much, much better. We're not getting the pilling situation at all. So I'm wondering, I don't know if it was because of the brush or like it just was not meshing well with that primer. Okay, that looks so much better applied over that primer and with starting with the fingers. That's so much better. I am still getting though, like clinging maybe like right around my chin here. Okay, is that gonna pill on me up oh, it's pilling no i hate that okay i don't like that at all okay i don't necessarily love the way it's sitting on my chin everywhere else i like like i feel like it provides like a nice glowy skin like finish it's not like sheer by any means like it definitely is like a light coverage but it's like not anything more than a light in my opinion i don't want to try and build this up at all because i'm worried that like this trying to build on itself would be a bit of a disaster i feel like it's just like a bit clinging to like a few of my dry patches but we're gonna move on we're gonna move on i'm gonna have to try this more kind of see what it works well with what it doesn't maybe it's just my dry skin that it does not work well with although i feel like dry skinned girlies are liking this one i like the I like i like the glow that it gives my face i think that's pretty okay i'm gonna go i'm gonna set my under eyes with my huda beauty easy bake powder in the shade cherry blossom so i picked up the pink powder and i'm gonna for sure set underneath my eyes with this i'm like do i want to set my entire face like normally i would not want to with well yeah maybe i would i'm like who am i who am i, who am I kidding I do like to kind of like set everything just because like usually I'm wanting my makeup to like last a decent amount of time. I have used this powder every single day since I've got it and I will say I think it is heavier underneath the eyes than the Givenchy Prism Libre so personally I think I'm gonna like that one just a little bit better. This one just looks a little bit heavy. Um, Nothing crazy. I'm definitely gonna go down the nose here like do i set my whole face do i not like it definitely looks better set obviously because this is a mattifying powder but then it's like taking away from the glow you know <sighs> what do i do i do want this to last okay 
Ugh, is this taking away from like showing you guys like what this product looks like though? I feel like it kind of is, but I also feel like I've already like basically, we're gonna set the whole face. We're gonna set the whole face because I've only used this underneath the eyes thus far. So we'll just set the whole face. I do want to film a couple of videos today and I do have a couple errands to run like in between. So I would like for my makeup to last a bit. I will obviously continue to test all of these products and I will like wear this skin tint without setting the entire thing, just to, like get a feel for longevity without that. But for today, we're gonna just set the whole face. Okay, I, oh, I just like, did, there's settling in my chin that I'm not living for. But anyway, I do, I actually don't mind that powder all over the face. Um, with a heavier foundation, I don't know that I would love it, but it works, it works for this. Just for a little bit of hydration, I'm gonna go on with my Evian, like, spray oh my face just feels dry i swear i have been actually drinking more water too <sighs> chronically dry skin here just chronically dry i will put a little bit of the pout preserve on just so you guys can kind of actually you know what i know that i love this one so maybe i'll put on a little bit of the fenty beauty melon mojito just so i can get a little bit of use out of this i'm curious how long this one lasts just because i wasn't really paying attention that feels really nice on the lips I wasn't necessarily paying attention the first time I tried this. I do really like the doe foot on this one. It's kind of like that thick doe foot, similar to like the Clarins lip oil. And if I didn't mention, I have mine in the shade Melon Treat, which it actually does have like a nice melon scent to it. I like how glossy that made my lips look. Okay. Ugh, I'm not, I'm just like really not loving the way that that foundation is like settling here. Anyway, we're moving on bronzer is going to be the gucci bronzer it is i believe aside from i also hauled the nyx bronzer in that haul because i also shopped at ulta but this is the only bronzer that i picked up during the sale my sister did also give me the another rare beauty um bronzing stick but i'm not going to use that today whoa that's way more bronze than i thought especially considering i'm like did i accidentally nope this is fenty bronzer in the shade one okay i thought it was going to be lighter than that so this is although maybe it's because i need to also clean my bronzer brush that's probably part of it but i do like the way that that is warming up the skin lately i've been feeling like i'm just not getting like a good forehead blend with my bronzer i'm like girl what is happening all right let's see how it applies to the cheeks Oh yeah, I do actually like that. Okay. Try and like really push it into the hairline. And I did mention during my haul, but I actually also have Gucci, the Gucci bronzer in the shade three, which is, let's show you guys a comparison of, and if you guys are wondering, shade two is like really more like a contour shade from what I'm remembering. So here's shade one, here's shade three. Shade three is obviously significantly darker. Um, honestly, even with the soft tan, I'm like, this is probably too deep. But shade one has more of like a rosy undertone to it. So if you're cool complected, um, it might be like a really good option for you. Okay, to help like seamlessly get stuff going on up on the floor head, I'm just gonna take, I have owned this for a while. It's the Hourglass uh, Powder Trio. And I just kind of swirl all three like shades together and then just try and like get a little bit more of like a seamless blend going on. Love the Hourglass Finishing Powders. Okay. For blush, I picked up two blushes during the sale. So I picked up one of the new ones from Rare Beauty. This is in the shade Cheer. I've used this twice so far, and I will say I prefer this used as a blush topper as opposed to like this is my single standalone blush. You'll see both days of me wearing this as a standalone and as a blush topper in my makeup diaries. As a standalone, it almost comes off too like metallic. There's something about, I don't want to say like the transparency of this, but there's something about the way that this just sits on the skin on its own that almost has this like 
cooler toned undertone to it that just ends up looking i'm not like a silvery metallic but just this really pale pink metallic that just was not flattering i didn't feel like at least on my cheeks but i did top this over a blush out of i think i topped it over the shade pink moon out of the uh lunar beauty moon prism palette this just like lighter baby pink and this is actually like a cooler tone blush shade then I used this as a blush topper and I thought that that was really, really beautiful. So I'm going to continue to play around with this, but I'm not going to use this today because I have yet to test out the new one from Patrick Ta that I picked up. And this is in the shade She's the Moment, which is this really, really beautiful peach duo. I own two other duos from him. I know that I like the formula and the way that he actually recommends using his formula is to go with the powder first and then do the cream on top just to add a little bit of dewiness back to the cheeks. I'm a little bit nervous because this is like it's pigmented very pigmented so that always just makes me really nervous <laughs> but i'm going to take my blush brush and i'm just going to tap in a couple of times there is kick up definitely i want to make sure it's like even on my brush i'm going to tap off tap just a little bit onto my hands and then we'll tap the rest onto the cheeks okay looks like we tapped quite a bit off because that didn't come off nearly as scary as I thought it was going to but I'm just going to keep doing the same thing kind of building just so I don't get like clown cheeks right off the bat see like two layers and I already feel like that is maybe even a little bit deeper than I want or a little bit more pigmentation than I was going for but that is okay we will make it work see how pretty that is i just feel like okay i was really into a like straight up red sunburnt blush the last like two or three years and this year i'm like so into like a nude terracotta or like a straight up like orangey peach and this is like kind of a hybrid between like a pink and like an orange in person i don't know how it's necessarily coming across on camera but a little bit different, but still giving me like that sunburnt vibe. So I'm very excited about this. I feel like this cheek is like slightly more pigmented. <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to take my beauty sponge and I'm just going to go in with that cream. Again, kind of tap maybe a little bit off on the hands. Yeah, like that is going to be pigmented. Okay. Yikes, I'm gonna go in with the beauty sponge that I did my foundation with and try and fix that a little bit. Oh boy. We definitely got a sunburn. That's definitely what it's looking like. We burnt the cheeks today. Okay. That is really pretty though. Okay, in person it's giving clown cheeks for sure. <laughs> in person it is possibly giving clown. I'm like, is it giving clown or is it actually just giving sunburn? It isn't as glowy as I was maybe anticipating and I was just about to say that foundation actually isn't as glowy as I thought but I, I forgot we sat with <laughs> the Huda Beauty powder. Um, Okay, actually, I kind of like really like the way that that blended over the bronzer too. Maybe I'll change my mind as I'm editing. I feel like I'm always nervous to say I like something because sometimes I feel like I do and then I go to edit and I'm like, girl, you look crazy. Um, but it's like I kind of like it. Like it's definitely, maybe not with like a yellow top, but like because I feel like the yellow and like the orange are maybe clashing a bit, but it's giving, it's giving girl got, girl got kissed by the sun, you know? Okay, I'm gonna do my brows next just because I feel like that'll help tie the look together a little bit. So I didn't pick this up during the sale, but this is like my go-to brow routine lately. So I just used my Danessa Myricks Groundworks palette. I personally like the shade Sculpted in my brows. And then I just take my e.l.f., sorry, no, the Blink Brow and Liner Duo Brush. I literally just like tap it in and then I just like this is probably like definitely don't take brow advice from me but i literally just like paint it onto my brows and it's so easy 
Okay, I shouldn't point this out because I feel like you'll never be able to unsee it after I say it. But I like this brow is always like higher than like my brows are just like not even at all. And I don't know how to make them even, and that's fine. <laughs> um, but I do always like to then brush through the brow with right now I just have my tw benefit 24 hour brow setter so I brush through my brow and then I just top it with the benefit tinted brow gel okay so those are the brows I did not pick up a new um highlight during the sale and I don't necessarily feel like I need a highlight right now I also did not pick up a new eyeshadow palette, but for the eyes today, I thought I could do a look with an eyeshadow palette that you can get at Sephora, and I wanted to bust out my ABH Nuevo palette just because it's been so long since I reached into this, and I felt like I could do something just like pretty quick and simple with this palette. So I actually have already um, primed and set my lids. So I went in with the Narge Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I recently picked up a new one of this because it because I'm missing it. It's such a good one. And then I actually went over top of that with this ColourPop Creme Shadow in the shade Laurel. It was from the Wild Nothing collection. And it's basically just like a lid shade. And I, again, want to just do something pretty simple. I think I'll end up just... Actually, I wonder if I take this shade Muse. I'm going to end up with a huge, like a big smoky eye, as, as always. Um as always happens. So I think I'm gonna take the shade Muse and just pop a little of that. And I always do my eyes first. So to do them like last makes me really nervous. But I'm just gonna tap just a little bit on the outer third here, just for like a little bit of depth. Oh, I'm already like scared. I'm like, oh, I don't think this is like how I want it. Also, my eyes just are not even. And it makes me so <laughs> frustrated. Like doing eyeshadow just frustrates me sometimes. I'm gonna then go in with this shade right here and just like blend that into the crease and kind of like blend out where I just laid down that deeper shadow. Okay, those are not blending together very well. That is pretty muddy. Um, interesting. Yeah, that does not look good at all. Yikes. Okay. I hope my palette hasn't gone bad. I've like really, I really enjoyed this palette when I first got it. And I don't know, I'd like barely used it last year. But okay, there it's coming, it's coming together. It's, you know what, it's nothing spectacular, but we're going to make it work. Definitely not the best thing I've ever seen, but it's okay. Just for funsies, I'm going to go on with a product I've really been loving lately. It's the KVD Dazzle Stick, and it is this really beautiful cream shadow, and I'm going to pop this onto, like, the majority of the lid. And I personally just like kind of just draw it on and it ends up kind of sloppy, but that's okay. We'll make it all come together. I'm just going to tap that out a little bit. It kind of dries down pretty quickly. And it just adds this really beautiful like sparkle to the lid. I really, really enjoy it. But I'm also going to top the shade Lily right here onto the lid. I really, really enjoy the shade Lily. I think it's so so pretty i like the way that those two kind of mix together okay i'm gonna go in with just a little bit more of fleur and i think i'm actually gonna mix it with paloma the like essentially like lid setting shade and i'm just going to like just try and like blow this out just a little bit more okay yeah i feel better about that okay and we have just a very quick simple and easy eye look i am gonna go in with my ilia eyeliner in the shade dusk in my waterline i'm just trying to use this up it's not something i picked up during the sale but i like to always have something in my waterline and then i actually am going to tight line really quick and the 
like liquid liner I've been using lately is the Hint Dash one, which you obviously can't get at Sephora, but I really enjoy this. I also just noticed I have like brown fallout on this side of my face. No! What do I do? Oh my gosh, have you guys seen that um, TikTok of the guy that likes trying to chug the sparkling water and not burp? And then he like burps and he's like, oh, what do I do? And he like turns around and bashes his head on the garage. Tell me you've seen that and like, why have I laid awake? This is like no joke. I've literally laid awake watching that probably like for a full hour over and over and it gets funnier every time you watch it. Okay, well, I guess it's just gonna look like we have a bruise over there. So that's great. Okay, and are we even surprised? I definitely screwed up a little bit over here with tight lining, but that's whatever. We might have to wash this off before we film anything else today. Anyway, for mascara, I did pick up the Rare Beauty Mascara. And I've used it twice. This will be my third time. And so far, I really, really, really do like it. I haven't noticed like smudging and transferring like I have with so many mascaras lately. Like I feel like I've really been struggling to find a mascara that like I like. And I really like this one because I feel like it adds like good length and volume without being clumpy. I feel like I haven't gotten this amount of like length through my mascara in a bit like especially like do you see like do you see that lower lash um i am someone who like has quickly become obsessed with curling my lashes with the heated lash curler i'm like okay this is like almost giving too much drama down here so i will like apply my mascara and then go over like after it's had like a minute to dry I just come in with my heated lash curler and I feel like I feel like it just adds this like beautiful curl that like I don't like I feel like usually I do my mascara and my lashes just are like sticking out straight because I just feel like that's like the anatomy of my lashes and I hate it so we do the heated lash curler okay the only thing left that I believe I have is lips, which I purchased so many lip products, as I mentioned. Um, I do have my Charlotte Tilbury lip liner, the lip cheat in Iconic Nude, which I'm gonna line with. It's gonna be a little bit hard because I still have quite a bit of that lip oil on my lips, which I actually do really, like I like the way that a lip oil feels. So far, this is day three of me using the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. So far, I've really, really enjoyed it. I will say, again, it's difficult with a lip oil already on my lips. <laughs> um, but I do feel like there's good longevity and I really, really like the shade, which is again, Iconic Nude for my final lip gloss. Just so you guys can see as many lip products as possible. I have the Too Faced Kissing Jelly Gloss. This one is in the shade Bubblegum. This is what I first picked up. I had to go back and pick up Sour Watermelon as well just because I loved the way that this felt on the lips. I thought it was really beautiful, really smooth, and it just had this really amazing lip gloss texture, like thick like a lip gloss in a non-gloopy way, but it also felt like really nourishing on the lips, like possibly my new favorite like lip oil, but it's like also a lip gloss. Um, I was so, so impressed. So I have bubblegum, which has shimmer running throughout. And then I have the sour watermelon, which doesn't. I'll show you guys bubblegum just because um, this is the one with the like glitter. But like as I run my lips together, I don't feel one ounce of grit. And it really is just like this sheer pink gloss with like some some glitter like i don't even know if like looking at me right now can you even see the glitter i'm not sure um but i'm super super impressed with this this would be like a tippity top top recommendation as well but my camera battery is like flashing at me like it's gonna die this is the final look using all of the not all of using some of the products that i picked up during the vib sale haul or during the VIB sale. <laughs> um, so, so far, I'll let you guys just know my one size secure the glow. I have really been enjoying this. Again, today was my third day using it and then I had to wipe my makeup off. So I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep testing these products and I will come back to share them with you. 
more to come on the Danessa Myricks yummy skin. I need to figure out how to like not get this to cling to my dry patches. Maybe I didn't prep my skin right. Maybe I need to do a few things. Uh, but off of first impressions, I'm not loving the way that this is sitting on like my chin area. Getting some pilling with that. The Huda Beauty powder, I like. It's not a look. Like if I had to choose between this and the Prism Libre right now, Prism Libre would be what I would go with. But again, we're in the very early stages of testing. I do I do like the way that the Gucci bronzer is looking. I'm very excited to have this in my collection. Um, it's very bougie. Definitely probably not the most necessary thing to like have a Gucci bronzer, but like it's making me happy, so. <laughs> um, I also do really like the Patrick Tosh She's the Moment blush off of first impressions. I will say, in person it's not looking like as glowy as i was expecting can i get this to open um but part of that could be because i you know i set i mean granted i put this on top but i, I know i set with that with the huda powder everywhere it's just it's not as glowy as i was anticipating and i also just love that i have shadow fallout everywhere <laughs> Anyway, um, so far on first impressions, I think this is going to be a really beautiful shade and I can see myself getting a ton of use out of this shade this spring summer. So I'm very excited and happy about this. I think Patrick Ta's formula is really good. So if there is a shade that you've been interested in, I would highly recommend checking out the duos. Mascara, again, I have really been enjoying the Rare Beauty. It's the third time I'm trying it, but this could become... A new favorite just because i feel like it does really add a nice like fluffy volume without being clumpy and it makes my lashes look like more lengthened than i feel like they typically do when i don't get like transfer everywhere so okay my camera battery did die before i finished um so if i've moved a little bit that's why uh oh this hasn't smudged i haven't had smudging with that so i really can't complain and i'm actually so far really pleased with the mascara I'm trying like not to miss anything the uh charlotte tilbury lip cheat as long as i continue to wear lip liner every day i'm so far like really excited about this and happy to have this in my collection this i do feel like has good longevity to it which is something i feel like i've been kind of searching for in a lip liner as i've tried to get more into lip liner so i'm really excited to continue on with that as mentioned um i think that the ula henriksen pal preserve like if you're even considering this a little bit definitely buy it um it's so good I do really like the Fenty Beauty lip oil off of like second impression, but I will say I'm more excited about the Too Faced Kissing lip jellies. And I think these might be like a couple dollars cheaper. Um, and I just think there's some really fun shades in the Too Faced, especially for the summertime. Now this one definitely has a little bit more of like a glossiness to it rather than like a true, true lip oil. So if you're looking for a true lip oil, this is giving more true lip oil, but Personally, if I had to choose between one or one or one or the other right now, I'd be leaning towards this at uh, tower 28 skip. Like, do not get this. I don't think this is good. Like at all. I'm so sorry if you like it. Um, and I did just want to like recommend, you know, lawless forget the filler. You literally can never go wrong. Literally can't. I picked mine up in the shade nudie this time around, but um, velvet is a really beautiful color. I really, really like velvet. I also like juicy watermelon and cherry vanilla. So just pick up any, any lawless forget the filler. You literally can't go wrong. And then, oh, the Charlotte Tilbury um, concealer. It's a new favorite. I've been talking about it a lot. So you probably already maybe know. Um, and then I did forget to mention that I put on, I wanted to put on one of the mini fragrances that I picked up during the haul. And I put on a little bit of the Jo Malone Use You Zest. This I really, really like. I will say, I will say it is, so it's like a citrus muskiness. Like it definitely has like a masculine element to it, which I usually really enjoy. And I do like it in this. I want to see like, I want to see if there's like something with like a hint of a sweetness that I can mix this with. Because I feel like it's giving good citrus. It's giving kind of like a good muskiness. But there's just like one small thing missing to make this like the perfect scent. Like I feel like maybe I want just like a little bit of like coconut nuttiness in there just for like the summer. But I do really enjoy this. Um, If you like citrus and you like a citrus musk, I think you would really, really enjoy this one. I, I'm, I was really nervous because I feel like Jo Malone can go like one of two ways for me. Like I either really like it or I'm like, mm. Um, and I had to have this, for, like I had to have this for the packaging. I picked up two years ago, one of the like spring 
additions where it's like this style of packaging and i loved the like tiffany blue top with like the like i feel like this is like a lime like a sheer lime green like i love lime green so i was like no matter what's in this it needs to be mine but i'm really glad that i actually like really like this i think i like this even more than wood sage and sea salt so wanted to shout that out but that is going to wrap it up for this sephora try on get ready with me would love to know if you picked up any of these products what your thoughts are um or have you picked anything up that's you feel like it's going to be a new favorite or you're like no girl skip skip this one i tried it and it's like no good let us know in the comments other than that if you're looking for new jewelry don't forget to check out anna louisa's website which will also be linked below and if you pick up any anna louisa pieces let me know what you get i would love to know um I, again i've been really into the rings lately and i'm very excited about my new rings so i would love to know if you've recently got any new jewelry pieces let me know other than that thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting me and my channel as you guys always do i love you guys so much and i will catch you in my next video bye